Recently, I needed to take a look at a home that had photovoltaic solar panels installed. And I was trying to figure out, hey, how much energy is this home uh, generating versus how much is it using? How do you read these sensors that are on the smart meters and internally? Uh, so I had to do a little research and I thought that I'd put up this video describing how to read uh, some smart meters currently installed in the US. Okay, here's a picture of the outside of the home from Google Street View. And then here also from Google Maps is a rendering of the home. And you can see eight solar panels located on the top of the home in an otherwise sunny and pretty deserty condition. I'm gonna walk through four different scenarios and explain the readings that the meter is providing in those four different scenarios. The first scenario is morning, a few electrical devices are on, and it's overcast. The first thing that we see is the meter reading sync net. It's a little hard to make out, but this is a description about the way in which the program in which the smart meter is communicating the data to the utility company. In this case, the utility company is Southern California Edison. The next segment is just a maintenance mode or an error monitoring mode in which all of the LCD segments are activated at once to make sure that the meter is displaying accurately. If one of the LCD segments is out, it won't be, um, it won't be dark, and then you could possibly read the wrong number. So this is just a mode in which all the segments are lit up. This next segment is the classic meter that uh, has been around for a long time with electrical meters indicated by code 001 and then the number that's read is the amount of electricity in kilowatt hours that's being drawn from the grid. So in this case it's 7565 that's the number of kilowatt hours cumulative that this property has taken from the electrical grid. Code 071 is a code that's only going to show up if your smart meter has been programmed to coordinate with a solar, a solar panel system that you have set up. This is like the inverse of the classic meter reading. Instead of telling you how many cumulative kilowatt hours your uh, home has taken from the grid, this is the amount of kilowatt hours that your home has generated and fed back onto the grid. So this is kind of like a negative meter reading, if you will, how much energy you have given to the grid uh, via your solar panels through this meter. So in this case, the code is 071 and a total of 11,469 kilowatt hours cumulative have been put back onto the grid by this uh, home's system. The next code, PLD252, is an indicator about how the meter has been programmed, and that shouldn't change at all unless a um, meter programmer comes out to visit the property. Then finally is the code 082, and 082 is the instantaneous amount of electricity that's either being taken from the grid, if the number is positive, or the amount of electricity right now that's being provided to the grid if the number is negative. So in this case, it's early morning, there's not a lot of light on the photovoltaics, and a lot of the, uh, there's electricity being used in the home, and so the number is about 1.0, 1.3 kilowatt hours that's being instantaneously drawn from the electrical grid. And you can see it's bouncing around about every half a second or so. Also, on this um, video chunk, you can see that there's a small arrow that's uh, building up like a progress bar and pointing to the right. That means that electricity is being taken from the grid. When electricity is being sent to the grid, that arrow will point to the left. And we'll show you that in, uh, the, in the second scenario. Finally, the loop has gone around full circle and we're back to displaying sync net. In this first scenario, I showed the video at a slowed down rate. In the second scenario, we'll speed it up a little. We'll, we'll just keep it at normal speed. In the second scenario, we'll show uh, same time of day, morning, overcast, but we've shut down as many of the electrical uh, loads in the house as we can. Um, and so the only things that are drawing electricity are things like a refrigerator or chargers, vampire loads on the system. So it should be uh, almost a neutral energy draw. We'll see how we did. Okay, in the second scenario, we see sync net lit up. That's going to roll into our electric meter, re our, our LCD error check, in which we have all our segments activated and dark. Then we roll into code 001, showing 7565 cumulative kilowatt hours have been drawn from the grid. Code 071, showing 11469 cumulative kilowatt hours have been given to the grid. Our maintenance code PLD252, we can see that the arrow is very slowly building to the right. 
Uh, our net draw right now is 0.32 kilowatt hours, so very small amount of electricity, and then we return back to sync net. Scenario three, we have a bright afternoon with uh, as many electrical loads turned off as possible. We check our LCDs to make sure that everything is working okay. We go to 001 where we show 7572 cumulative kilowatt hours drawn. And then we shift over to code 071 saying we've generated 11469 kilowatt hours. Our instantaneous read after our maintenance code of 252 will show that we're producing power. Our arrow is going to the left and we're generating 0.03 kilowatt hours, just a very small amount of electricity at this point. And then back to sync net. Meanwhile, inside on the meter that's connected to just the photovoltaics, you can see that there's some other instant readings coming in. How much uh, power is being put onto the grid is 580 watts right now. And that means that since the electrical meter is reading almost zero and the electrical power panels are making 580 watts, it means that this home, when stable, uses about 580 watts on refrigerator and any kind of chargers or vampire loads that are present. Finally, scenario four, afternoon with bright sun, solar panels working at their maximum. You can see the quick read arrow pointing to the left indicating that power is being generated. 7572 used from the grid and 11472 being delivered cumulatively to the grid. When we shift over to our instantaneous read, you can see that we're generating quite a bit of power. Um, see that in a sec generating 1.57 kilowatt hours instantaneous going back onto the grid right now, in addition to whatever is being used by the house. Okay, so that's a quick rundown on how you can read an electrical meter that's hooked up to a photovoltaic system, four different scenarios in which different amounts of power were being drawn from the grid and delivered to the grid. Thanks for your attention.